trains and buses, games and songs. Come join us and sing along. Transit Talks is where I'll be, the coolest place in NYC. Welcome to Transit Talks. Hi, welcome to Transit Talks. My name is Katie and I work at the New York Transit Museum here in Brooklyn, New York, where we think about all things transit and getting around our city. Before we start, let's get comfortable and take a nice big deep breath. Just like this. Whew. Let's do it again. Whew. Great. Do you know what song we like to sing when we come together for Transit Tots? It's the hello song. If you already know the words, sing along with me. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm gonna sing it twice. So you can hear how it goes and then you can sing along with us. Here it goes. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, and I hope that you are too. Let's sing it again. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, and I hope that you are too. Yay, we did it. Let's sing it again. But this time, let's say a different word instead of I'm happy. Let's see. How about we say, I'm excited. Let's sing it like that. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm excited, I'm excited, and I hope that you are too. Let's do it again. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm excited, I'm excited, and I hope that you are too. We did it! Today, we're gonna to be talking all about how we can bring the beauty of nature from the outside, inside. Just like the MTA, the MTA are the people in charge of our subway stations. Just like how the MTA brings the beauty of nature into the walls of our subway stations by making beautiful pictures of art, including flowers, plants, trees, even sometimes animals. We're gonna learn all about that by going over the list you see behind me. You can see we've already done some of these things, so I think it's important that we check mark the things that we've already done. Will you help me with that? Okay, great. Have we already said hello? Yeah, let's put a check mark. Have we already sung our hello song? Yeah, we did. Now, our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about mosaics. Now, that's kind of a funny word. Can you say it with me? Mosaics. Awesome. Let's say it again. Mosaics. Great job. Let's learn about mosaics now. Do you like to draw or make pictures? That's called making art. There's a special kind of art that we can see in our subway stations. Have you ever seen pictures on the walls of the subway stations? That art is called mosaics. Mosaics are pictures made of little tiles on the walls of our subway stations. Do you want to see some mosaics that we have at New York City subway stations? There are a lot of different kinds of mosaics in New York City subway stations. Today, we're going to look at mosaics that show beautiful plants from the outside. These mosaics help make the dark stations feel bright and full of life. This is part of a mosaic called Brooklyn Seeds. An artist named Jason Middlebrook made this art for the walls of a subway station in Brooklyn. You can see it when you're on the Q train. What colors do you see in the flowers here? Can you point to the color green? Great job! How about yellow? Can you find yellow in this picture? Amazing. This is a mosaic that has two names. One of its names is Who More Sci-Fi Than Us? It's a very colorful mosaic and you can find it at the 163rd Street stop in Washington Heights. You can see it on the A and the C trains. Look at all the colorful leaves in the mosaic. Take your time and really look at them. Can you name two different colors you see here? Wonderful. 
fall. There's a lady in this picture, too. Will you point to the lady in this picture? Her name is Firale Baez, and she's the person who made this mosaic. She is an artist. This is another mosaic in the subway system. It's called Roaming Underfoot, and the artist who made it is named Nancy Bloom. She made art showing lots of different kinds of flowers from nature on the walls of the subway stations. Which flower do you like best in this mosaic? Do you like the pink flowers or the yellow and white flowers better? Very interesting. Wow, mosaics are so cool. Do you like learning about the mosaics? That's great. Now, I know there was something we're supposed to do when we're finished something on our list. What should we do when we finish something on our list? Oh, that's right, the check mark. Check. Next, we're gonna do an activity. The activity we're going to do today is going to help us take the beauty of nature from the outside and bring it inside to our homes, just like the MTA does. Here it goes. We're going to make paper flowers that we can use to make the walls of our homes just as cheery and bright as the walls in our subway stations. This way, we can have art inside our home while leaving the nature where it should be to grow big and strong outside. You can pause this video to gather your materials with your grown-up now. Grown-ups, for the square paper, consider using bits of old newspaper, magazines, or coupon books that may otherwise be recycled or thrown away. Once you have your materials, it's time to begin. To get started, first you need your square piece of paper and your tape. Take your square piece of paper. You can see that it's a square because it has one, two, three, four sides. And turn it so that it's a diamond. It has a point on top and a point on bottom. Take your bottom point and make it touch the top point by folding your square piece of paper in half. Make sure your fold is nice and crisp. You can see that we now have a triangle. It has one, two, three sides. Draw your finger down the center of the triangle and scoot your finger a little way out. You're going to fold one piece of the triangle up, just like that. Now you're going to find the center of the triangle again. And we're just making sure that our fold is a little bit off center. Find the center of the triangle again, and now we're going to go the opposite direction. Put your finger a little ways out from the center and fold the flap up. We're done folding. It's okay if yours doesn't look just like this. It doesn't even have to be even. Flowers in nature look all different kinds of ways and that's what makes them beautiful. Next, you're gonna take a piece of tape to secure down one fold. Take another piece of tape and secure down the other fold. Ta-da! This is going to be the top of our flower. Next, we're going to take a white sheet of paper. It can really be any color. I'm going to use white so I can draw more on later. And I'm going to stick a piece of tape behind the flower. A grown-up might need to help you with this. You can stick your, the top of your flower down anywhere on your paper you want. We're going to color in a scene all around it. I'm drawing a green stem, but you can be creative and you can make your stem any color you want. I'm making one, two leaves for my flower. You can do as many leaves as you want. Hmm, what should I draw next? I think I'm going to draw a worm in my scene. We didn't see any worms in our scenes in our mosaics, but that's okay. This is your opportunity to get creative. What kinds of things do you like to see in nature? What kinds of things would you put on a mosaic if you were working for the MTA? What kinds of things do you want to see brighten up the inside of your home? 
Here I'm drawing a sun. It's nice to have nice, bright sunshine in our picture and in our home. And you can make your look exactly how you want. I think I'm going to add another flower. You can draw anything you want in this scene. You can draw lots of flowers. You can draw other animals or insects in your scene. You can even do more than one origami folded flower. And you can make a whole garden full of flowers. I'll show an example of that in a minute. And there we have it. Here's my finished product. We saw one example that had one flower on it and another flower drawn onto it. If you want, if you had fun, you can take this activity and make it even bigger. Here you can see a large poster board full of flowers that are folded with paper and drawn directly onto the poster itself. You can even see I added a little worm and a ladybug. You can do whatever you want with your activity. It's yours. Get creative. Add lots of flowers. Just one is fine too. Whatever you want to do, I'm sure it will be amazing. I had a blast making our activity today. I hope you did too. In fact, can I see yours? Can you hold your activity up to the screen so I can see? Oh wow, that looks amazing. I hope you take time later to make some more. Now we finished our activity, so you know what that's time for? The check mark. We can check this off our list because we are done with our activity for today. But like I said, you can do more later on, you, on your own. So if we look at our list, we have one more thing to do today. And that's to say goodbye. But I want to wrap up by reminding us what we did today. Today we learned a vocabulary word called mosaics. It's a kind of art where you make a picture out of tiles. We also learned that we can use art to bring beautiful nature inside our homes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Join us for our next Transit Tots, which is going to be on Tuesday, same time, same place. See you then. Bye! Trains and buses, games and songs, come join us and sing along.